Hey everyone, hubby and I are taking a walk. We're gonna be going to the Alora Gorge Conservation Area. It's Tuesday morning and it's a beautiful day, but we had kind of a fail morning. It started off really well. We went to this uh, local breakfast type place called Reckless Eric. We got a breakfast burrito, a breakfast sandwich, and a peanut butter cookie. We shared that. And then we were off to treetop trekking. It would have been a gorgeous day for that. But it turns out they had canceled our reservation. I checked my voicemails from yesterday. And sure enough, they had called saying that there was a chance they'd have to cancel and they'd call us in the morning to let us know. We didn't get a call, so we were almost there. We had been driving for pretty much an hour. So I called them and it turns out they did have to close today. We're still gonna try to make the most of the sunny weather. I don't think people typically walk into the conservation area. We're walking kind of like on the side of the road. So hopefully we'll have a nice hike and then we're gonna sit on a patio and enjoy this beautiful weather. The day ended up turning out really well. We had a very nice hike at the gorge, and now we are at the Alora Brewing Company. We just got a couple of flights. We're gonna have an early dinner, and then we're gonna go get ice cream. And the last one is oh, yes. raspberry and lime. Can you try that one? Yours? Yeah. You try it first. You try it first. <laughs> It's quite good. I like it. Yeah, I like sours now. I don't know when this happened. When I started liking them. What's this one? Lady friend? Oh, it's Hoppy. The Hoppy one. So it's a it was like a decent distance from good. I ended up getting the porchetta sandwich. The fries look really, really good. And Javi got the brisket. That looks good too. I think it's got truffle mashed potatoes. That's quite a lot of meat, actually. I had to start eating mine because they gave it to me first. I don't get any toppings or anything like that and I like just having the soft serve in a comb so um, it was I didn't want it to melt so I just started eating it right away but it's really good this is root beer flavored I don't know if it tastes quite like root beer but it's delicious <laughs> hubby got oh my goodness grape soft serve with cotton candy gummy bears uh, Sour Patch Kids, but they're like um, pieces of Sour Patch Kids mm -hmm. and Pop Rocks. The gummy bears are really tiny. Mm -hmm. They're cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> mm. So sweet. Oh my god. It's good though. Mm -hmm. The grape is really good, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Pop Rocks are good. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. But yeah, mine is very plain. One of the ladies that works there recognized my fanny bag. 
So they gave us a loyalty card and she actually gave us the stamps for yesterday as well, which was really sweet. Ooh, Pop Rocks. Mm. That's so good. I love Pop Rocks. So um, we only need to buy five to get one free. So when we come back tomorrow, which we will, we're gonna get our free ice cream already. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday morning and hubby and I are just taking a little morning walk. Came across this bridge with a beautiful view of the gorge on both sides. The view is pretty similar on either side. Very very beautiful and I just love the sound of running water, it's just like so nice. We are gonna head back to Lost and Found. I want another one of those lavender lattes. Hubby and I got uh, two different breakfast sandwiches to share. Hubby got the classic brekkie, which has bacon, like a thick bacon. And then I got the same one as two days ago. This is the house brekkie and it has ham. I think there are other slight differences with the sauces and such, but um, pretty similar overall. And we both chose the cheddar jalapeno bagel. They also have sesame. Heading to our spa appointments now. It's very pretty here. Our spa afternoon was really nice. We had a very relaxing hot stone massage. After our massage, we went to the pool for a little bit, their heated outdoor pool and then they have like a little hot tub. We went into their sauna and um, I only stepped into the steam room. I actually prefer the scent and feel of like a dry sauna better than um, the eucalyptus steam room, but it was really nice. We haven't had dinner, so we ordered poutine from the Friendly Society. This was only $10 and um, it's quite a decent size. So we ordered one each, of course, and we're gonna have this for dinner, along with some mango bubbly. We stocked up on a bit more. So we had a really nice, relaxing day. We're just gonna stay in for the rest of the evening. It's already almost 8 p.m., so we're having dinner a little bit later than usual. Are those the ones I washed? I washed a couple. The next two days should be pretty relaxing because uh, it is going to rain the next couple of days on Thursday and Friday. All right, I'm going to eat. Let me try a bite with you. The truffle fries from the Friendly Society when we went there for that all-you-can-eat brunch was really good. So I do like their fries. The fries at um, the Allura Brewing Company were also very, very good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mmm. The gravy's really good. Mmm. This is good. Not exactly spa food, but, <laughs> um, but it's okay. It'll hit the spot. The spa had some really good cookies, too. I think they were sesame seed and chocolate chunk or chocolate chip cookies and they were delicious. I might try to find a recipe for that because I have tons of both black and white sesame seeds and both of those were in the cookie. So I'm inspired to try to find a recipe that's similar. Those were really yummy. I had two cookies at the spa and also some really nice fruit infused spa water. Hubby and I are at Bissell Park again, just taking our morning walk. It's a beautiful day. It's still overcast and it is forecasted to rain off and on today, but right now the weather is wonderful. It's a really nice temperature and it's not raining. So we're going to take a walk around this area and then we plan to go to Reckless Eric again to have their breakfast burritos. I'm hoping to get a scone too because they were sold out last time. So fingers crossed they have it this time.
I just woke up from a two hour nap. I was so tired. We are heading to um, the main area. We're gonna take a look at a few shops and then we have a distillery tour at three o'clock. As you can see, it is very warm out. It's 21 degrees and quite humid. So what a change in the weather. <laughs> it's a video. That tasting was really, really good. We tasted all of these, if you can believe it. We tasted all of this. Just tiny, tiny, tiny portions, but oh my goodness, that's a lot. Yep, all of them. These are all our little tasting glasses. <laughs> oh my goodness. But you know what? Everything was good. They were like, I don't know if you are really polite or you just really like everything, but honestly, everything was so good. Especially the liqueurs. This was like a highlight. I've just had a taste of the um, honeydew milk tea and it's quite good. It's very reminiscent of bubble tea so nothing about it is um, that different even though I took oat milk instead of whatever kind of milk they usually use for bubble tea. But I like it a lot. Maybe I'll try hubby's as well. You want to try mine? The honeydew? Hubby said his was good and the tapioca tastes like how it should. Mm -hmm. oh, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. regular. Mm -hmm. mm. Like it. We are going to order pizza takeaway, I think, for dinner tonight, but they don't open until 5 o'clock. So we're gonna enjoy our bubble tea. Um, I think that's only in like 15 minutes anyway. And then we're gonna order pizza and just have that um, maybe on our little terrace patio here or if it starts to rain we'll just run inside but yeah very nice relaxing day um very much enjoyed the tour Lulu knows we have pizza. Let's see what we got. That's my margarita. Yummy, yummy. Oh, yeah, Looks really good. Neapolitan style, right? Uh -huh. oh, and hubby's hot and honey. Wooey. Wait, it looks the same. Oh, no. It's different. Yours has meat on it. it smells good. And goat cheese. Uh -huh. Yum. All right, we're going to dig in. Lulu's had dinner already. We're gonna drink the last of our non-alcoholic beer. We're gonna share it. Hubby was a trooper and drank two of them. So we're gonna share the last one. Actually, the color is quite nice. We didn't see the color before. It actually does look like beer. Maybe it'll be better today. <laughs> More ice cream. <laughs> I got the peppermint soft serve. I love how pink it is. I don't know if you can tell. It's actually more pink in real life. And hubby got the apple pie with a whole bunch of toppings. I got a large with the toppings when we had our free ice cream. We did have to pay for the toppings though. Only the ice cream was free. But um, it was a bit too much for me. It was too much ice cream. The toppings were very filling. So I decided to go back to my small cone. This has been hubby and my favorite breakfast. This is the breakfast burrito from Reckless Eric. So a really small breakfast burrito, but um, it's reasonably filling. We also got another scone. Their scone of the day yesterday was um, cranberry chocolate. And today they have uh, cheese scones. It looks a little smaller than yesterday's, but um, I'm excited to have this. I love scones. We're gonna go watch a movie today. We're gonna drive to Guelph and we're gonna watch Doctor Strange, the new one that just came out um, a few weeks ago. 
We've been meaning to watch it, but we haven't really wanted to go to a movie theater. We figured um, like a daytime show on a weekday in like a smaller town might have fewer people. Our film is going to be at 12.45. We've already bought tickets. We chose our seats and we just chose like a little um, set of two seats off to the side. So hopefully even if the theater does have other people in it, they won't choose seats that are close to us. So we'll see how that is. First time going to a movie in a theater since um, before the pandemic, well before the pandemic, because I think we had stopped going to the movies, um, I don't know, maybe like a year before the pandemic even. I haven't gotten in quite a while. It's a really nice uh, rainy day activity that we didn't ha originally have planned, but um, it worked out nicely. The drive to Guelph is about 20 minutes. Javi and I got more ice cream. I got coconut, but when she handed it to me, she said mango. So let's give it a taste. Coconut, definitely coconut. Loyalty card that we want to finish. We've got four already. We need five to get the free ice cream. So we may come again in a few hours and get our last one. Dinner at the Alora Brewing Co. was awesome. I got the poutine. Hubby got the crispy chicken sandwich, which looked delicious. It was actually huge. Their fries are really good. The gravy was very salty, but um, it was still really delicious. I like that place a lot. I think it's my favorite place. Uh oh. Hubby and I did go to get ice cream one more time. We wanted to finish our loyalty card. Here is Hubby's ice cream with his toppings, and this time, even though we had a free ice cream, I just went with my regular cone that I love. This is the black cherry flavor, and I've liked all of the flavors there. I think my least favorite was probably the cantaloupe. It didn't taste like the cantaloupe I was expecting, like the actual real fruit flavor. It was more of a... Um, kind of like candy cantaloupe flavor, very sweet. Maybe it was the amount of syrup they put in, but um, I definitely enjoyed all of the flavors that I got. We ended up going to this place seven times in five days. We went twice on Monday, once on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then twice on Friday. So this was our last visit there. We don't have this type of soft serve in Toronto but um, I can see myself eating a lot of soft serve this summer. I'm just really into it. So we're gonna enjoy the rest of our ice cream. We're going to watch some YouTube videos. Oh, it's pouring rain again, so I'm glad we went out when we did, because uh, it was still raining when we went out, but it wasn't this bad. We also have to pack tonight, and then we're gonna drive back to Toronto early tomorrow morning. Our last morning in Alora, and I wanted to show you this page of my morning pages. I miscounted how many pages I needed for this trip. I actually thought I had more than enough, but I ran out. So I write three pages a day and it takes about 20 minutes, but today I only had two pages. So I had one page front and back and I didn't want to write only two pages because three pages is kind of like the perfect amount for me. Instead of um, finding another piece of paper or whatnot, I just wrote over <laughs> my existing writing. So this page I wrote twice. I don't keep my morning pages. I, I'm going to bring them back to Toronto and shred them. But I just thought it was funny because it is like literally you can't make any of it out. Sometimes I have trouble making out my morning pages as is, but because I wrote over what I already wrote, it's even worse. We are almost ready to head out. We just went to Reckless Eric for one final breakfast. Have you got the breakfast burrito? It's a bit too early for me. It's only around 8.15 right now. So I got a scone and a muffin to go and I'll probably eat it either in the car or when we get home. But um, we had a very nice day. There's Lulu and Hubby. <laughs> Hubby has to hold Lulu while he eats, otherwise she begs. But um, yeah, we had a really nice day. 
a week was pretty perfect here. There isn't a whole lot to do, but that's kind of the beauty of it, I think. We took lots of um, short hikes and such, walked around town, went to a few shops, restaurants, um, and yeah, it just seemed like a very like nice week. Enough to do, not too much, not too full, and lots of time to relax. So we are going to be driving back to Toronto today. I will end off the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Bye! Oh, <laughs> she didn't like that. <laughs>